So it's just me and mum and we have horses and cattle and pigs and goats and dogs and cats and alpacas. Well, we have two properties out at Coolpe. It's a small town and I only came from a school about 55 people. I come from Salem, which is in southwest Queensland. Um, if you know where St George is, we're an hour away from there and um, there's pretty much nothing there. There's a pub and a school. <laughs> um, but I do enjoy home, it's very open spaced. Probably the most overwhelming um, thing for me was the distance. I could not believe it. And that day we'd gone from Charleville through Quilpie and across through Yulo and to Kunnamulla and we went nine hours without seeing a house mm -hmm. of any sort. The only thing we saw were emus. We got bogged too, that I, I got us bogged. Um, <laughs> it was terrible, so embarrassing. It was lovely to meet you because we could kind of picture how you would fit in and how beautifully you did fit in. But also to meet Mum because you and Mum, you know, you're a pretty good team. And yeah. it was really lovely for us to understand that you are a beautiful team. She came to my school, it was a Wednesday, mm -hmm. <laughs> and she came and talked to us and then we, I took her back to my place to show my sheep <laughs> at George. I remember that morning I was really nervous and then I got to school and I remember I cleaned my desk because it was really messy. <laughs> I remember um, we went to the coffee club in Chinchilla, it was brand new and it was my first visit and I was super, super nervous. But you know the funniest, the thing I loved the best was when I was at your school and your mum goes, oh, we Claire <laughs> wants to show you her animals. <laughs> And she goes, do you want to jump in our car? <laughs> so next thing, you leave school. Yeah. And we jumped in your car. We get a lot of information from the parents that they don't particularly want to write on a form. Um, and then for us to see where the girls live is, is um, it's just so good. Knowing that for 10 weeks she may not see her mum and dad in this totally different environment. And I remember um, at the swimming carnival, I remember you coming to my room yeah. and you were so excited because <laughs> mum and dad were going to make the trip to the swimming carnival. <laughs> and I burst into tears because I was so excited because I'd been so worried that you weren't going to see your mum and dad. very difficult for the parents. I mean, um, uh, you know, on a property they lose a worker, the child goes away to school um, and I mean just um, particularly you're the oldest, yeah. so Hayley's, yeah, so Hayley's the oldest, so first one to go away and um, just, yeah, you've lost your little, your little friend too. you realise, particularly for those women out there on the land, just how much they trust you when they, and how hard it is for them to part with their daughter to give to you. And I think, particularly since the advent of Now Year 7, being in the secondary school, I had quite a few mothers on our trips last year saying how much they almost resented the fact that they had to um, part with their daughters that year earlier. They hadn't had any rain for so long 
long and you know they've destocked and all of that sort of stuff but um, the country too like for that for those girls to come in here when they come in here and they're used to living you know their property's 80,000 acres to come in here and live with another 200 girls um, when it's just been mum dad and and you know the girl at home that's significant for them and the girls feel that when they're in here because there's always things going on at home like shearing or whatever I think it helped mum and dad a lot and just made them feel more comfortable sending me away. Well, it made me feel a bit more um, excited about coming, actually. We can't achieve academically until emotionally we are in a place to accept new information. So we wanted to try to help girls get to that place quicker. And what we've noticed over the last couple of years is that while that settling in phase obviously still exists, it's shortening. So we noticed that a lot of girls used to say that they achieved that level of reasonable comfort at about week seven. We're noticing that a lot more girls are now saying that's about week three. We can't be home. We're not home. But I guess what we try to do is bring some of home to Fair Home.